Hey, what's up everyone? How are you all doing today? Welcome to episode 26 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We've got an absolute bumper pile of Blackstone here from the last mission. So let's get all our guys boosted up a bit, shall we? Let's see where we're at. So we've got a 13, 15, 15, 15, 14. Let's just get Tauf up a little bit more. In fact, no, I want to... I want to beat some of the other guys up a bit. Let's have a little look. Jeremiah here. Could do with this other slot filling. What other guns have we got? Is there anything better for him? That's a gamma pistol. Already got that. That's a pistol. That's an arc rifle. One to eight. Hmm. That's six to eight. Let's leave that. Energy or enhancers. We'll give him an upgrade and get something on his um, empty slot there. 3 HP and 1 energy armor. What's the chest piece we've already got? 4 HP and 1 physical. Yeah, we'll keep that on. Then we've got one of each of the armor. Okay, so let's populate this last little slot here. There's only one slot. I've got the max healing ratio. Well, that we've got so far. 8 to 10. What was that? Yeah, it's a different one, isn't it? But go down on one of those slots. Should we give him the stabby stick? The mechandendroit? Yeah, let's do it. Let's give him the stabby stick. Minarius. I think he's okay at the moment. He's got quite a few good things. We do have a better power field generator, I think. Do we not? No, it's still only got that one. I think there's another mission that does give us one. I think we'll keep him like that for now. He's got okay bits and bobs on him. Leonardo's our healer. It'd be nice if we can upgrade him a little bit more. And get that extra refractor field generator on. So what we got for him? We've already got that counter cool. Let's start going down this path a little bit more. Because we want to get this Master Refractor on the go. So what we got, 2 HP to max, 2 movement, 2 energy armor, 1 HP, 20 crit chance. Trousers, hood, gauntlet. Trousers, hood, 1 physical, gauntlet. What was the hood option? That's 2 energy armor. Let's go for the trousers. I don't think we'll use them. We're more doing this to get our extra augment slot. So let's get that on. Oh, what are they? 2 HP and 1 energy. 2 HP and 2 movement. No. We'll stick with that for now. Right, still got loads and loads of blackstone. 1400 still. Oriochus. Yeah, he definitely needs some pimping. Still don't think we've got any cognitive canisters, so we won't bother with that one. That's energy enhancers, he's not going to use them either. Where should we go? Should we do this one? Let's do this one. Give him a slightly better cog stick. Because that's him on full. Still got a thousand blackstone. Right, Tauf needs some upgrades. Have we got that one? We've got that one. Okay, we've started knocking him down a couple of different ones here. So what we got? That could be a handy one. Yeah, that could be a handy one, just nipping up one extra health in. We might go this way. I don't think it matters what one of these we do. We're probably not going to use them. Yes, he's got two spare slots now. So what guns has he got? He's got some pretty basic guns. Hmm. Have we got big bad boy axe? No, he's already got a good axe. Got two spare slots, so let's give him a slightly better cog stick. 
got one slot free still, so we could give him a better Caratio here. Something heals two, which is that. One. Yeah, that one. No, our Caratio claws. There you go, Croatia Mechandendrites. Where's the other one? That one. There we go. Proper claw. Grr. Right, that's most of our Blackstone all done now. Our oh, guys are starting to look pretty beefcake. Let's see what missions we got. Well, that's one we looked at last time, wasn't it? Ah, oh, that's where the better power field generator is. I really like the look of that gun as well. That looks pretty cool. What is that? I've never seen that one. Torsion cannon. Upon hitting target, it turns into a circle area attack that passes through units and walls. That's pretty spanking. Similar of um, Of Croatia Mechandendroit. A level 3 infiltrator. Hmm. Just noise reductor. That's that Castellan, isn't it? I think we're going to go this one with the badass gun I want. Where is it? This one. Lock and key in the Agrolex sector. I want this Xenorite pattern Volkite blaster. That looks really cool. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Should we go this guy again? He worked pretty good last time, I think. Until he died, but... That is the fate of most of his troop units. Doing a lot of talking today. So we've got an optional encounter straight away. Two optional encounters. I saw. One. Two. Only two. Okay. Only two compulsory ones. So we'll start go ziggy zaggy up through the middle here. This region of the tomb was used to inter Agrolex Lieutenant. Images of his glowering stylized mask glare down from everywhere. Perhaps there is some information on this Xenos to be gleaned, or perhaps it is more important to proceed on mission with all haste. Examination. Fully examine the monuments to this Necron leader. Overview. Give the monuments a cursory examination without sacrificing too much time. Reversion. Keep moving. Do not pause to seek out information that may be useless or even harmful. That's very wise. I'd like to examine. I think that's going to take too much time. We're going to go for the overview. Oh, well, Scaviola's happy. That's good. Picked grabs of the monuments' inscriptions are relayed to the Castus Metallican and grant a few insights into this leader. Got free cognition. That's pretty cool. So yeah, we'll go up to this first encounter. And see where we end up after that one, where we need to backtrack to an optional. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. Boo. Oh no. Decrease, that's good. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the aid sealant used to contain the treasure within. Cool. Well, we didn't get anything good from it, but we also didn't get anything bad from it. A single port designed for a Necron Canoptic creature extrudes from this device. We went left one last time, so let's go right one. Okay, a little bit of health that we didn't need. Let's get into this first encounter here.
So we got Katorian Warrior, Katorian Warrior, Canaptex, Immortal. Any terminals? There's a terminal here. Cognition down there. A few cognition points up here. So we've got to kill all enemies. There's no easy way out through scanning stuff today. So I'll send one guy down towards that one. We're going to need probably a couple guys going this way towards these ones. The other three can all pop up this way. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good. We do have some cognition already. Hmm. Let's do it. Let's get our vanguard in as well. Where should we put him? Oh, that looks pretty sneaky. So all our guys are going to have the servo skulls, you see. We're going to be able to get plenty of cognition. I think I'm going to hop on this platform here with this guy. Mission freedom, make it cheap. I might just do him here. Eh? I don't know, five, he's got two physical armor. No, it's not gonna happen, is it? He's getting me close, right? Oh, hey! That's the result, I wasn't expecting that at all. Wow, good job. Good job. Right, this can get all cog points from one source, so let's make it count. Alright, that's him done. At the end of this round, when everyone's gone, that platform's going to zip over here, you see. So it's going to put him in a good position to get that terminal. And have a go at that Necron over there. Oh, you can't see both of them. That's a little annoying. I might skip him. Come back to him in a bit after one of them's moved, hopefully. I like a little claw grabbing away at stuff. Come on, grabby claw. Alright, let's make this cheap. just get nobbled on the opportunity attack he hasn't got much health left now free yeah he's gonna go brilliant okay pretty really hoping that one would have made a move by now and walked out one damage there but there we go he did have uh, energy armor on so not surprising I guess right, let's get some cognition we're not doing bad we've got five there okay this is the vanguard guy I think we might stick him on the bridge with this tech priest. He can go around for the flank. Get that second shot straight in there. No messing. Hey, dropped him. This is going good. Now, Oriochus, before I forget, let's put the troop buff on. Can. Can I get that? Yep, thank you. Um, how many do we 
get for that? Two cog points? No. I want to stay in range of these guys. Someone down here as well. No, there's not one there. It's just these three. Mm. Didn't even pay attention, he's got physical armor. Okay, cool. That's lucky then. Made the right choice. Get up in his face. Wow, these guys are dropping like flies. Let's keep him going out of deep. Hey, he's come out. Kind of Minarius. Oh, ugh. he's buggered off. That's annoying. Well, he doesn't get to do his big old double whammy shot now, so let's just send him in for this guy. Oh, no, we don't need the cognition yet. I will put that on though. Get the extra damage. Eight, and then will that finish him off? Should do. Lovely juggly. Should we stab him? No, I won't stab him just yet. Wait until next round. Um, we don't need the troop units, but we've got a full cognition bar, so let's get one in just for kicks. Let's blow that up. Um, no, we'll just keep that there, I think. Wait for the opportunity attack. So now we can stab him, get the cognition, now that we actually need it. That worked, kids. Now he's got quite a lot of movement. So all the way there, just at the loss of one CP, that was brilliant. And I'm hoping one more move gets him right up in here. Gonna get rid of that body, do a little bit of damage to the Canoptek. And he can move in for the swing. Let's push him right up just in case that guy tries to get the opportunity on the go. Cock points, cock points. I don't really need them, but let's get them anyway. Nice to go into the next encounter with a full bar. Smash him. I can leave him with a little bit of health down. That'll help out for the, um, for the next round. 
could already be doing a little bit of extra crit. There we go. Opportunity attack. You did. That was, that was quick. That's a really quick room there. A statue of Agrilex Lieutenant stands at a junction in the passageway ahead. It points in one direction, as if indicating the way. Follow. Go in the direction the statue is pointing. Forsake. Find another route entirely. This is obviously a trap. Or mistrust. Go in the direction it is not pointing to. I'm kind of actually going to follow it. I don't think the Necrons are going to spend the time erecting a statue and getting it pointing in the wrong way just for just for the hell of it. The passageway terminates in a small chapel covered in images of the lieutenant, evidently a sort of shrine or monument to this particular Necron. The unwholesomeness of such a place is counteracted by the wealth of information about the Necron and his deeds, which can be relayed to the Castus Metallicum for study. There we go. Got a bit of bonus Blackstone. A little bit of Necron education. So, we've only got the one uh, encounter we have to do. We definitely don't need to do the optional ones. We're still on the Tomb Awakening level of 1 in a bit. So we'll get straight into this one. Gargantuan cognitive data. She's reversed her defensive stance. No, thank you. Oh, this is a bit of a skinny deployment. Let's move him out of the way so the path is clear for the others. So we've got Immortal here. Scan terminal, scan terminal, warrior. Lord. We've got all sorts of glowy doors along the way. Let's get our vanguard out straight away. It's Jeremiah. Get that extra energy damage on. Let's see what this guy's all about. Hey, physical armor, brilliant. Eight damage. Wow, that's good. Cool, he should die soon, I think. It's a double. Does that say collect all? Yeah, collect all. Brilliant. No one he can get right in the face of straight away. So I think what I'll do is I'll get him in on this scan terminal with his super movement. Half expecting something to come out the doors. No, maybe not. Cool. Then 
and chill there for a bit. So there we can scan the terminal, pick up the combination all in one hit. We can turn around, lay the waste to this guy. Energy armor, it's not too bad though, this other gun will bypass the armor. good progress so far. I think I'll spend that extra point just to move him forward a bit so we've got plenty. can even pick up a bit more if we wanted. Is there a single? Yeah, there's a couple of single nodes. Jam up my vanguard. There he is. I hate it when this happens. She's our free shot on that. I don't think we really need to worry about blowing too many more of them up. Oh, should I give one of these some armor? No, I think we're right for now. Yeah, we're running on the awakening of one, so it's it's not super desperate to get those terminals at the moment. Oriochus, let's give the buff to our Vanguard guy first. Did that work? I hope that worked. Um, we don't need the cognition. This is our last encounter, isn't it? So let's get a bit of extra damage on and see if we can knock this guy back a bit. There you go, that's a good bit of damage. <laughs> Knocked him back a bit. Knocked him for lying. Oh yeah. Push you up. Cool. Can you shoot anyone from there? Definitely not. We don't need any more troops in. We've already got more than we need at the moment, I think. Just clear him out of the way by stabby stick. said we didn't need to concentrate on blowing that thing up but may as well use those free shots if we can um should we push our way up to this guy there's only this one and the lord left i think yeah yeah we're doing good got the knife through butter thing going on again i think it definitely said this was a hard one though rather than normal Love the movement of this guy, it's unreal. I might have to give some of the other guys some trousers of increased movement. Oh, 
we haven't got a stabby stick with him. Just a little going. Okay, but we can get lots of cognition with our skull. Pushing up towards the Lord. Oh, we can get him right up in there. Yeah, let's do it. Let's get him right up in there. Start working away at him. Get some fire on him. He loves that burn damage, oh yeah. Is there any way he can poke cognition from? No. So we've actually burnt through quite a bit of cognition, pushing all our guys so far up. Which is a little bit of a bummer. That's him good. Let's give this to Minaris over here, give him that extra bit of physical armor. Because he's in uh, melee combat with that Lord. Kinda needs the extra bit of armor. Is he in range from here? No. It's asking a bit much, I think. Maybe Vanguard guy can reach him. Yeah, he can. It's like his double shot has come back. Yeah. Rapid fire. This cognition. Got no servo skulls left at the moment. Um, any more we can get from anywhere? No. I think I'm just going to keep him there to be honest. I wonder if I can use that. No, too far away. Just kill all enemies. I thought we'd just have to kill the Lord. That makes things a bit more interesting. One damage, is that what you got? Blimey. Send him down here to give some backup. Can I reach you? No, can't even see him. Get some cognition. That's a bit better. Energy armor. Okay. A little bit of a bugger. Um, I know he's got energy armor, but we've got our energy canticle here. So let's use that. And actually deal a good bit of damage. Oh, yeah, it looks like he's getting a noble in. He's nobbled. Bye bye. Keep him there for now, I think. Go on, Minaris, do the deed. I'm 
Should go for some of that as well. No. Some more of that. Yeah. Cool, she just needs to get coughed on or sneezed on and he is dead. I kind of like to just finish the job off, but it's quite a waste of cognition when he literally just needs a love tap. So let's get this guy up there and give him that love tap. In fact, might be able to... No. Could be energy shield still. I'm going to do this one, though. That's a guarantee. Any more scan terminals? No. Before I totally move away from the area. So is it just this guy over here now? Just want to see what the stats are, see what we're working with. Okay, physical armor. I don't know these guys can move a massive distance yet. Apart from Anaris, it sucks. I need to give, give some more of them super trousers. Soon, right? Come on, do I? Do I? Oh, 11? Yes! Awesome! That was a wicked little final blow from my vanguard. Mission complete. The cohort reaches the sarcophagus of Agrilex Lieutenant. The image of a Necron is carved into the lid of the sarcophagus and in its angular stone hands is gripped the ring-shaped artifact that Scaviola has described as the key she seeks. The tech priest pries the key out of its grip and returns it to the Castus Metallicum. Poor expression of gratitude, that's almost an emotion there dude, watch out. Too bad on the Blackstone loss there. Didn't earn quite as much today either. This was just two encounters though, wasn't it? This is cool. We've got a Xenorite Pattern Volkite Blaster. Mm hmm. And a better power field generator. That's super cool. 52% now. Just got over the halfway mark. But we do. I think, is it this one? We've got the option of doing the final mission already. So we are sort of on the, um, the home stretch of this now, a little bit. There we go, guys. I hope that's okay for you. We've got a little bit of black stone. It's not too bad. We can use that to get one, maybe two upgrades next episode. So that'd be pretty cool. Get that Volkite Pattern Blast on someone. So I hope you've enjoyed that one, everyone. Please leave us a like and subscribe if you did. Leave us some comments would be awesome. 
Stay tuned for the next one. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.